In the dinosaurs and mammals, we will be discussing about the bird evolution. We know that the birds were uh, earlier adapted from the earlier uh, dinosaurs. So how did that happen? There was a fossil of uh, an organism which is called Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx is the most famous fossil. It is oldest known bird and it was found in upper Jurassic sediments in southern Germany in 1861 and it was hailed as the ideal missing link. So when we talk about the evolution, the persons who do not uh, get the idea of evolution or who deny the, uh, the presence of evolution, they would ask for the missing link that if someone has developed from the earlier species, where are the inter-between species? So here, this was one of the kind of evidence that was linking the birds with the reptiles. So here you can see the uh, picture of the fossil of Archaeopteryx from the late Jurassic. It, has the, it had the three fingers on the hand and it had feathers. It had uh, the skull with the teeth inside and it had the long bony tail. So that means it had both the characteristics of not only the birds but also the reptiles. So that means as the reptilian characteristics diminished and birds characteristic prevailed, these type of organism further developed into the birds. Archaeopteryx is giving somehow a proof of evolution and it had a beak, wings and feathers so it was clearly a bird. And it had a reptilian bony tail, claws on the hand and teeth. So these are some of the characteristics in the second point that were uh, giving it a reptilian uh, status. So since 1861, nine more skeleton have come to light and the earliest uh, was during 1861, but the latest that we have found that was during 2005. So the skeleton of Archaeopteryx is very like that of the Dinonychus. So we have seen Dinonychus is the very early, uh, uh, the uh, we have uh, discussed the early dinosaurs and in there we discuss about the Dinonychus. So especially in the details of the arms and ha hand leaf, it shows the birds are small flying theropod dinosaurs. So these were the earlier theropod dinosaurs. So the modern birds, what about the modern bird? They appeared in the latest Cretaceous and early tertiary and they were flightless ratites. Ratites are the organisms which are birds. They are flightless and they have long legs and they are large birds and ancestor of water birds just like waterfowl, penguins and bird of prey. So the perching birds radiated during the Miocene. So perching birds are those who are living on the trees. They can sit on the trees. So they were radiated during the Miocene. And here you can see the two examples of early Cretaceous bird, Confuciosornis from the Lyoning, China. And it shows a male which is below uh, with long tail streamers and a female which is above uh, on the right side in this picture. 